In this video, we will demonstrate the broker-specific training segment for Property Hub and RP Data integration with research tools. This video will cover the initial login to the platform, registering with an aggregator, producing property reports, and ordering valuations. Navigate to the Property Hub login page, enter your details, and click the login button. Next, if this is the first time logging in, you can choose between two options depending on if you're a new user to Property Hub or if you have an existing login. If you have an RP Data subscription already but have not registered for Property Hub, you will need to click the second option. If you do not have any subscriptions with CoreLogic and have not before, you will need to select the top option to register your account. Here, you will need to fill in all relevant details into the form and click Submit, where you will then be asked to select an aggregator with which to register. After your account has been set up for the first time, you can now log in like normal. Enter your user details and select Login. This will take you onto the Property Hub dashboard. The top of the page includes the Watchlist tab, the My Orders tab, Draft Orders tab, the Help tab, and the Account tab. In the center is the primary search panel, where you can search for properties by address, street name, suburb, or postcode. At the bottom of the page, we have the Alerts section. This section helps you monitor movement of any properties on your watch list. If a property on your watch list lists or sells, you can click through onto this section to monitor this activity. Next to this is the Recent Activity section which shows the number of recently ordered reports and the ability to track any activity with these reports as required. You can navigate back to this dashboard by clicking the logo in the top left-hand corner from any page. Now clicking through to the watch list at the top of the page will bring up any properties that are tracked within the platform. By monitoring these properties for any listings or sales, you can preemptively act as required, such as beginning the process of setting up a mortgage following the sale for a client's future property. The watch list can be easily updated in bulk via a CSV file upload, which needs to be in a specific format. Hovering over the tooltips will give the specific file format details and also allow you to download a sample file. We recommend downloading the sample file, populating it with the relevant data, and re-uploading it as an easy way to populate your watch list. Now clicking through to the My Orders tab at the top of the page will show you where you've previously done report orders or valuation orders. You can access these orders by clicking through them. Clicking Draft Orders at the top of the page will show any orders that you have drafted but not submitted. From the main dashboard, you can conduct a search via postcode, suburb, street name, or a specific full address. Running a search and clicking on your desired result will take you through to the Property Details page. This page shows Property Insights, which includes relevant images, which are sourced from previous listings, an interactive map of the property's location, property attributes, including the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, and car spaces, sales history, as well as automated valuation models for the estimated value of the property and rent. Scrolling down, it will also show any listing descriptions based on the property's last sale. Here you can also see the similar property section, which shows tabs for recently sold, for sale, and for rent. You can view these on a map by clicking the blue button which helps provide a deeper level of insight into any trends. Further down is the property timeline, which shows any available information on when the property was sold, listed for sale, listed for rent, or any development applications that have been submitted for the property. The next section provides information on nearby schools. You can determine if the property falls with any school catchments, as well as any nearby schools based on proximity. Once again, clicking the blue button will allow you to view this on a map. Next, we have the market trends for the suburb, which includes comparisons between the suburb and state for median sale price, property sold, median asking rent, median rental yield, median days on market, median vendor discount, and median price change in the last year. These are displayed in a line chart, which you can hover over for additional details. Here, median sale price can be useful for educating your clients on the current market conditions and managing their expectations, whereas median days on market can be useful for demonstrating how hot the market is to your clients. Further down, we have the section on neighborhood, which provides some top-level demographic breakdowns of the neighborhood. This information includes the distance from CBD, population, population change, household income, household structure, and occupancy.
Scrolling back up to the top, you have the ability to add this to your watch list with a simple button click. For example, if this is a new client that has come in and you are looking to sign up for them for a mortgage with this property. Upon clicking the watch list button, you can choose to create a new list or add it to an existing watch list. If this is a different level of conversation and you're instead looking to educate the client, there are a number of reports available to assist with this process. Clicking the order button, you can see there are three options, CoreLogic Property Report, CoreLogic Subair Report, and Digital Property Report. These utilize the same information available within the Property Hub platform, which can be simply emailed to the client with one click. First, click on the property report, a window will open. Enter the client's information, your details, their phone number and an email address. Clicking next will generate a report for this property and email it through to the client. At this point, you can also download and view the report that has been sent to the client. Property reports are approximately 10 page PDF document, which can also be printed out if the client needs it. This includes a detailed breakdown of everything displayed on the property details page within Property Hub. The next report is the suburb report, which follows the same process as the previous report. Once again, fill out the form and it can be sent straight through to the client as a PDF document. This report includes information at a suburb level, including suburb demographics, distance to CBD, population, breakdown of dwellings in the area, median sale value, median days on market, market trends, snapshot of activity within the suburb, and so on. The final report is the digital property report. This report is a digital website link that can be emailed to the client. It is not a PDF document. Upon clicking on the link, the client is taken straight to a digital property report page, from which they have a much higher level of interactivity, where they can click through the photos and use the map to move around. The digital property report provides similar information to a standard property report, however all maps and graphs can be interacted with, providing a deeper level of granularity and insight for the client. Lastly is the option to order evaluation. Once again, clicking the order button, select valuation and then click next. From here, you can register with any lender with which you are accredited, after which you will follow their process for submitting a valuation request. This allows you to have a number of lenders all within one spot, make it easy to manage your lender portfolio. In conclusion, across all the available reports and tools within Property Hub, there is a great level of opportunity to help educate your clients. This helps to provide the clients with the opportunity to make educated offers, streamlining settlement efficiency, and in turn helping speed up the process of getting their loan on your books. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.